Okay, I think we've got this set up now. Let's see. Get this over here like this. Hi everyone, it's CJ. And I'm going to talk to you today about journal pages. And what to do with them. And, you know, how can I organize them. Uh, right here is one of the journals that I put together just using strings and this has been gosh probably over a year ago I've got a video on uh, YouTube that kind of shows this and I'm not going to go through every one of these pages but you can see they're just held in there with strings and the problem there is if your cord or string or whatever is not uh, strong enough they most definitely will break apart so that's going to have to be fixed. Another problem is that if you have a very thin page that you're putting in there, you take the risk of it tearing here. So that's something to think about when you get ready to organize your pages. Now it doesn't necessarily mean just these um, eight by four pages, which are when you open it up, it's a eight by eight when it, that's created. But it could be any size page when you get ready to um, put them into some type of uh, protector or container or, or whatever you're using. Some people like to sew them. Uh, some will glue them. They can be hole punched. Uh, there's so many different ways to do this. Right now, I am looking at a collection that looks like this. Look at this collection of pages, hundreds of pages, and I need to do something with them. Now, my own personal pages that I've decided that I would keep, I did something a little different with, just you know, something quick to organize them because I like to leave these out on my coffee table. Uh, people come in and they know that whatever I have out can be looked at, touched, played with, what have you. And these are a lot of fun to just go through. Basically, I've just taken a hole punch and gone through and inserted one of these. It's a two inch ring. And you can see how it opens like that. It's got a hinge. And right here, I believe there's like 20 pages. That seems to be about the right amount for the 2-inch. These rings like this I found at, I believe it was Hobby Lobby, in their photo and scrapbooking area. Uh, it was not easy to find, but at the same time, they did have a lot of them in different sizes. I know some of you like to keep your collections together just by the group or the theme that uh, you've collected. In this case, these are just a bunch that I put together of ones that I've decided to keep for just for myself. I, I really enjoy the advertisements that have these large perfume bottles. And this particular page was one that I received just uh, ephemera in the mail and scraps and stuff like that and put together as a page. This one I like to do uh, a lot of the collage, and you can see there's all kinds of bits and pieces here, whether it's stamped or washi tape or pieces from magazines, and uh, that was one of them. This one actually has a theme. I believe a, uh, one of the swaps I was in, we were doing Paris and music and something like that, and at one time I used to always make extras, but I'm not doing that so much anymore. And this one was on the movie Gone with the Wind. And this was another one that was from Ephemera that people had sent. And I just put it together into a page. And it's a big napkin. Another thing I want to talk about is, see how I can open this up all the way? Okay. When you do your rings, this space right here, right there, should not be any more than about a quarter of an inch from the edge. And what I did was I came down two inches from the top and two inches from the bottom. 
That way I can open it like this and there isn't very much stress on those holes. Okay, this was a, uh, I believe this was maybe a paper doll, yes, paper doll swap that I was in. And these are swaps that I had made for myself, actually. Let's see here. Uh, is it stuck together? I don't know what is the deal there. Okay. This is another one in which I received ephemera and just put together a page. And this was from, let's see, I think advertising on this one. I'm sure you recognize that. This was background paper that, um, throw down paper, I'm sorry, that I had. And I just really liked all the different, um, ways the colors came together and just the bits and pieces on there. Okay, and like again, see I've made a note up here, ephemera, that uh, Shimmy had sent me. This was back in April of uh, 2015. She had sent a package of stuff and this is what I put together from it. And this was another one. Let's see who this was from. This was from... Melissa Aronson, and she had sent a package of things, and that's what I came up with. And this one was from Apple Hurton. I can never say her name, I do apologize. Right there is her name, and she's a great artist. This was uh, the bits and pieces she had sent that I put into a page. On this page, I'm not sure I can remember the theme. It may not, it may have been a no theme page. I can't remember now. And here's this one. I think this was Asian theme. And here's a good old Cheshire cat. And we all recognize this sweet little guy. I love him to pieces. And you can tell that was Alice in Wonderland. This one was, I believe, a doodle page. This one, nature. This one was to reuse a paper bag. And get a steampunk theme on the inside. And this one was different shapes. Okay, and then the last one, I think it was just painted paper, but I can't remember this one. This is probably one of the earlier ones I did. And inside, this was just a shoe from advertisement. I like the colors. I haven't used that for the back. But anyway, if you're looking for a super easy way to pull or, or organize some of your uh, pages together, regardless of what size the pages are, do consider the, the rings. They're inexpensive to purchase. And they do a good job. This one has sat out on my table for oh, several months. And um, it's held up real well. If you get worried about the hole, you can always put a... Oh, what are those things in there? Mm, can't remember. Oh, you know the metal pieces that you can clamp in. <laughs> my brain went on vacation just now. So anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed my little tidbit about organizing your journal pages and now I'm going to go back to doing something with all of these wonderful pages. <laughs> okay, you have a great day. Chat with you later. Bye-bye.